Right, hello uh, and welcome to another cooking uh, recipe. What we're going to do today is a really nice chicken tikka, both sweet and hot, so you've got the best of both. What we're going to do is basically you just fry the onions off and the uh, garlic and uh, ginger. Then we're going to add our chopped tomatoes, uh, uh, add our chopped uh, tomatoes, no, 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 no. We're going to fry off, us, um, fry off our uh, onions with our garlic and our, our ginger. And we're going, then we're going to add a garam masala, a tablespoon of chilies, a tablespoon of turmeric. Then add our chopped tomatoes. Then a spoon, um, half a tub of tomato puree, a teaspoon of sugar. Cook it through two tablespoons of double cream. Uh, and then, that, then that's... Um, that's basically the recipe. You need olive oil as well. So the recipe: ten eggs, top tomatoes, three go garlic, uh, garlic cloves chopped, uh, olive oil, ginger, uh, one onion sliced, uh, chilies, ground chilies, garam masala, turmeric, and half a tub of thingy. So we're going to start off by putting a tiny bit of oil in the pan. And then we're going to add our onions with our chilies in there. I've just got one chili in there, by the way. So we're going to take that to the stove. Turn it on, you want to season it the tiniest bit, like I've just done. So, now, we're just going to cook out We're just going to cook out our onions. I mean, there's a chilli look, just there. So the oil is just starting to get hot. Once we've cooked our onions, well, part cooked our onions, we're going to add our garlic and our ginger. The ginger just gives it a really nice fragrant end into the dish. Really nice. It makes it makes it a nice English curry. That's what tikka is. It's not made in England. Then we're going to obviously add our spices. Chopped tomatoes and spices, chopped tomatoes and tomato puree. Then we're going to blend it all together to make it a smooth pureed sauce. Or you can keep it rustic. rustic. It's totally up to you and what you prefer. It's down to what you like yourself. But as you can see, we're just frying off our our onions. Give them a little bit of time to soften. Once they've softened, they're ready for us to then add our garlic and ginger. You can hear the sizzle. That's what you want. What we're trying to do here, just cooking them separate, is we want to cook the onions so that they release the, the water content which then releases the acidity which then allows the natural flavour to come through on the onions. So that's what we want to do. We, don't, we want our onions to be nicely cooked. We want them to be part cooked. So you just leave them there for a minute to sweat down. Now I'm going to add a bit of my, all my garlic. So I've got one full ginger here. One ginger root, fully in, and I've got three cloves of garlic. Try and keep it as small as you can. So as you can see, that's what's in there. And I'm just going to sweat all this down. This all needs to be cooked off nicely. So we'll say about five minutes to cook all of this off. That's what it should take to cook, cook it all. So let that sweat down for five minutes. Welcome back. Now as you can see, they've, they've caramelised. They've caramelised now, perfectly. What we want to do now is add our garam masala, add our garam masala, and add our all the spices that we're putting onto the dish. So 
This is a really nice dish to do. You could do it in advance. Turmeric, garam masala, and grand chilies I'm adding. I'm only adding one tablespoon of each. Be careful with the turmeric, it stains to your skin. So just add one tablespoon of that. What the idea of this is, is to burn the chili, the um, spices, just take it off the heat while that happens, to burn the spices onto the uh, stuff that's in there at the minute now, onto the onions. So the ground chilies for the heat, so there's some nice heat in there. And then the garam masala, just to bring it all, bring it all down. So there's a garam masala. So now, it's ready to keep cooking. You need to just move it round. You want to burn these onto the onions. So just, just do it until the, the night, the, you can smell the, do it until you can smell these spices because that's what you want, that's what you mean by burn. You don't want to literally burn them. Now, we're going to add, now they are nicely done, we're going to add one tablespoon of sugar to caramelise it all and make it really nice, sweet, beautiful. We're going to mix that round, let that get in with the dish. And if you could smell that, it smells absolutely fantastic. It really does the aroma coming from that. And then add your tomato puree. Tomato puree has been added. Then what we do is we just cook that through. So just move this round. Slowly move it around. You can see. You can see the tomato puree there. Onions, garlic, uh, ginger, just all, all cooking through. What we want to do is just cook that through. Then, as soon as that's cooked through, which it round about is now, we're going to add our chopped tomatoes. Now, again, this will bring the this will bring the dish the coolness of the dish down dramatically. It will make the dish not so hot. It will balance the dish good overall. So as you can see, it's nice, they're nicely done, so I'm going to get my tomatoes and I'm just going to add them in, like that, just put them in, then move it back on, slowly incorporate it in, slowly, slowly bring it in, there we go. That's a nice chicken tikka masala sauce, ready for blending soon. Cook that through about two minutes. Once we've cooked it, we want to add a few tablespoons of double cream to it. That's just to bring the heat down, because in there it's really hot at the minute. So we'll just leave that to cook for around about two minutes. But again, welcome back. As you can see, it's cooked through. It's like, it's really nice. It's almost like, it's almost like a puree of vegetables. So what we're going to do now is add one, two, three tablespoons. I've changed my mind because I've put str there's strong flavours in there. So I just want to mix that cream in. Mix it round. I don't want this to be too hot, hence why I'm adding the double cream. Just to bring that temperature down a little bit. There we go, look, you're getting a really nice orange colour now. Beautiful for chicken tikka, for chicken tikka masala. If you want um, to any more redness in it, add to more tomato puree, more ground chilies. If you want more heat, obviously ch more chilies and more garam masala. But to me, that's a really nice colour. That's exactly what I wanted to achieve. So now, we're going to go over to the blender, which I've already had set up here. There's my blender, look. And we're going to blend it. So, see this? Brought lid, start, lid, lid off, and then I'm just going to place it in the blender. Well, the reason I do this is I don't really like my sauce for stick, 
I like it all knocked down. That's another reason why I did my garlic and ginger. Well, I did my garlic and my ginger uh, really fine because I don't like my I don't like my sauce tikka tikka sauce, especially my curry. I don't like it rustic. So I will put it all in here until you've got a clean pan because waste. You don't want to waste any of this. It's, it's it's really nice. It's fragrant. It's it's got a little bit of a twist to it with spice wise. It's um, not too hot for all the people that don't really like the hot curries. Um, and it's just overall, it's a real crowd pleaser. If you're doing the dinner party, perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Put maybe put a bit of coriander in there to finish it off to the end. So now you'll see the sauce. And I'll pour it back on the pan just to show you the transformation of the sauce. Ideally, that's what your pan should look like. Hardly any sauce on it at all because all the sauce that's in this pan is wasted. So what you want to do on there, and you want to get, you want to get a cloth just for safety, just so it don't splurt up at you. But I can't find my cloth. So, I'm going to use this, this cloth here. And uh, just literally, Hand over the top and then watch it blend. Pulse. You've got to pull, make sure you push your mixture because if you do it, it will split right up. You'll slowly do it. of it now. So bring it back down. So this is what it's like. Extremely nice. It's like the stuff that you buy. It's exactly like the stuff that you buy in a in a tin. It's nice to make, cheaper to make. It's just overall a really nice sauce. It's just oh, it's just really nice. I can't explain it to you gorgeous and as you can see there look the, the smoothness of the sauce it's it's it really is a perfect company for any dinner party anything fantastic so again scrape all of it out all of it you don't want any left and there you go that's your chicken tikka sauce done perfect if you've got any comments any queries any requests please just comment below thank you for your time hope you enjoyed watching it